You were born in Hollywood. You're a Hollywood girl. I grew up here. You must have seen a lot of changes in this city in all these years. Oh, yeah. Huge amount of stuff. But I lived in New York and in London and in Paris. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then <clears throat> we lived in New York about seven years. You, you married your husband in what, 62? 59. 59? How'd York. you meet him? William Claxton, the photographer. I met him through a mutual friend who was an actor. I had studied acting and had come back to California. I've studied in New York, uh -huh. the neighborhood playhouse. Oh, you did? You studied mm -hmm. and you met him and then you got into modeling through him. And he was really famous for his shots of jazz musicians and, and, and uh, celebrities as well, right? And celebrities and then fashion. That's a great picture. Now that doesn't look that old, that picture. It's, it's not that old. So you're still, do you, are, are you still modeling? Not really. I don't like being photographed. You've caught me at not my happiest time. Why? Because of well, my husband just... of 49 years God, had a terrible, God. agonizing God. death. A lot of it's been good. Yeah, this is not. This is the worst time so far. In your life? <laughs> I think so. so the 60s yeah. were a blending, and maybe a somewhat. There was a kind of equality. Like, why can't we all be? Why can't it have to do with intelligence and? talent and, you know, must it everything be the old way we did the stuff. You became, uh, somehow or other, when I look at you, you look like the original feminist, you know, because... Well, but I... I, I mean, you're, perhaps I am, but I'm not political. They would say, have you burned your bra? And I said, I don't have a bra to burn. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you met Rudy and you started modeling, but you two really collaborated. Rudy, Rudy's clothes were... Oh yes, we did collaborate. Well, and Ru Rudy's clothes are, are really very 60s. I mean, they're, they're sort of like that early poochy stuff. What did you think of his clothes before you met him, I guess? Oh, I thought he was total genius. You did? I thought he was the most famous... When I was a kid, I thought he was the most famous designer in the world. Well, like what he did with bathing suits. Rudy said that he thought bathing suit design was more or less over because the next logical thing would be for a woman just to wear bikini bottoms. And Rudy thought, I better do it. Before because, somebody beats me to the punch. Somebody's going to beat Soviets me. The Soviets will beat us to the moon. Yeah. For Rudy, what was important was not money. It was to be first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But as a model, I'm proud of my work looking back on it. Do this at a baby uh -huh. shower, a letter to an unborn baby. Well, hello, baby. I know your parents because I worked with my husband, William Claxton, on some beautiful books that your father published. You are one lucky baby, and through the years, you are going to become very sick of hearing that. My advice is to find yourself. They will help you. Love them dearly for who they are and find out who you are. I'm an old lady now, and what I've found in life that's most important to me is kindness, beauty, humor, and of course, love. Peggy Moffat Claxton.